<laughs> Hold my hands. Okay. I have just had one of those mornings, one of those starts to the day. You know, one of those mornings that just makes you want to put your pyjamas on and climb back into bed. <laughs> so, I don't know, I've woke up feeling not a hundred percent. I've, I don't know, I think it's because I've been, I've been on my own with the kids for like eight, seven, eight days now. Um, Clint was working away for all of last week and then at the weekend it is his brother's stag do which is very exciting he's best man so he organized the whole thing um so they've been away doing that and they're home today aren't they daddy home today but yeah it's been a long old slog and i don't know i think i think i'm just a bit run down like i've woken up with a scratchy throat achy sicky i don't know you know when you just feel generally a bit bleh i thought we'll go to a new park because that will like cheer me up be a nice start to the day drove over to this new park to take koopy had snacks and everything in my bag and there was nowhere to park the car it was all like permit holder only and after 10 minutes of driving around i just got so cross and came home so instead my morning adventure is just walking down the cycle path in front of our house <laughs> my house is literally there so we're just walking down there to get some fresh air and to blow the cobwebs away and to try and restart my day come on <laughs> oh you always want to hold my hands that's fine i don't mind at all Okay, back home after our massive adventure down our local cycle path. <laughs> hey? I've set him up some little things. I've set him up some little areas so that he'll be nice and busy for a little while this morning. I just always feel guilty when we're like, don't have any plans and we're stuck in. He wants to look at himself. There, is that better? A bear? Yeah. So I've set him up and his cars over here. We've got some puzzles and these cute little houses that I got him in the charity shop last week. I don't know what Nanny is doing in there, but this should keep you busy for a little while. I might sit down and have a coffee, to be honest. Honestly, it's so annoying when you wake up in a funk, isn't it? I'm normally a very proactive, positive person, but yeah, when you wake up with a foggy head, it can be hard to shake that sometimes. But he is happy as Larry, so I don't know what I'm worrying about. I think I'm one of those mums where I feel like I have to do something nice with them every day. But actually, then I need to remind myself that they're really, really happy being at home. He's happy as Larry if you get out a few different toys and give him snacks. He's happy as a you know what and you know what. But I have no agenda today at all. It's the first time, first time in a long time that my to-do list, which if you know, if you follow me, you'll know that I love a to-do list. My to-do list on my phone is empty, literally empty, which is why I picked up the camera and vlogged because I ain't got anything else going on today. I got no work things going on. I got no, you know, dates with friends, seeing my family, nothing. The only thing that I have to do today is take Leo swimming, which is after school, straight after school. So chill for a little bit and then I'll probably just potter around the house and do some house jobs, take him with me as always. But yeah, for anyone else who sometimes just gets that mum burnout, where they just feel like their energy levels are completely depleted. Hi, you are not alone. <laughs> so we are gonna come upstairs and do some house jobs. We've just chilled downstairs for like an hour, playing together, watching cartoons and things. We're gonna come upstairs and we're gonna change the bedding on everybody's beds today. And he loves coming upstairs because he runs straight into his big brother's room. You watch. Because <laughs> he knows Leo isn't here. And he's going to make a mess. He's going to pick up all of Leo's little figures and drop them on that chair. 
It's literally his favourite thing to do. to each other I know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before or oh, oh yeah it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away His new favourite thing to do seems to be drawing. Loves to get out big bros, pens and pencils. That's better. I just remembered that I bought him these the other day and I put them in the cupboard and I forgot. They're called Pip Squeaks, small size, big colour, made for little hands, little mini pens. And he seems to be enjoying them. He just loves mark making and that's all it is. Just mark making but it's so important. Okay, choose a colour. What colour? Oh. What's that? Oh. What oh. colour? Orange. Good boy. Poopsie has had his lunch. He's had a cheese sandwich. So he's all full up. Nice full belly. I've got my lunch here. This is the gym kitchen chicken tikka masala. I get the gym kitchen meals from Asda, a few in my weekly shop so that I can just grab them and have a nice healthy lunch or dinner if I need, if I need one quickly. And I felt like I needed like a hearty, hearty lunch today so this will do the job. I normally have my lunch when he's down for his nap but I'm absolutely starving today and I couldn't wait for him to go down for his nap so I'll just eat while he's awake which is fine. Still sneaking bits of cheese sandwich into his into his mouth. <laughs> I don't, don't ask me why that works, but it works a charm every time. Okay, Koopy is asleep. He has just gone down for his nap. I'm just gonna have a little tidy up because yeah, say no more. So I'm just gonna tidy away most of the toys and things and then i'm gonna sit down because like i said i don't actually have any work to do today which is unusual instead of just finding things to do i'm actually gonna relax but i cannot relax when the house looks like this so I just said that I would sit and relax but I was tidying up the toys and I'm going to be setting up a sort of toy rotation thing for the summer holidays and I thought I'll start it. So I've packed away a couple of things, these playhouses and a couple of toys in that box as well. I'm going to pop these upstairs. I'm just going to keep them in the spare bedroom so I don't have to keep going up and down the attic all summer. I want them to be like more accessible so I can get them once a week or whatever so I'm gonna pop these in the spare bedroom and then I'm gonna get some stuff down from the attic to replace and then the rotation can begin so all those toys you just saw have gone upstairs and I got down this sort of jungle treehouse play kit that I'm hoping I'll be able to decant into one of those boxes so that it can just live in there for the next week or so so i'm just going to see if i can do that 
there it does all fit in so that's good but i've set it up for when um for when cooper gets home and leo gets home cooper gets home cooper wakes up and leo gets home from school i thought i'd just build it and show them what it looks like when it's all built because they've probably forgotten and then i've put all the other animals in that box so there you go a little toy rotation done and i've started to organize for my summer toy rotation i am going to film a video in the next couple of weeks all about sort of summer holidays and ideas and inspiration on how to keep little ones occupied <laughs> and busy and avoid hearing the dreaded i'm bored over summer i've got a few ideas and things that i need to um get ready and share with you um and toy rotation is one of them but i am i i know i said i was gonna sit down and relax and i i haven't but i promise i actually am now <laughs> someone has woke up very happy to find a little surprise waiting for him shut the door there you go so he's just had his little wake up snack and he's just playing with his new toy but we do have to leave in 10 about 10 minutes i am just packing up leo's bag because we have swimming like straight after school on tuesdays which is today so i've just put all this swimming stuff in here i'm gonna grab some snacks grab a couple of things for the boys to snack on during swimming okay bag is officially prepped and packed ready for swimming lessons with a two-year-old in tow which anyone who's experienced taking a toddler to their elder siblings swimming lessons will know the joy that i have ahead of me <laughs> and after we get back from swimming clint should be home like shortly after that like dinner time when the boys are having tea thank goodness oh my gosh i cannot wait to have a tag team back <laughs> So I need to go and get the car ready and get everything ready to go and do the school run and the swimming madness begin. But thank you so much for watching my latest vlog guys. I will see you in my next one.